What is going on everybody? We are in Key West. We woke up at 5 a.m. this morning, which is super rare for me especially. But we're about to head 55 miles offshore. We got Robert at the wheel, eating the sandwich. Nice breakfast sandwich there. And we got world What's famous up? Dibs. <laughs> oh boy. He also has a YouTube channel as well. And of course we got Blue, Blue Game. Game. And it's blowing, like always. But we are gonna run 55 miles off and we'll see you out there. Goal is a black grouper, however, fingers crossed, we're going fishing. center console because it is windy out here but we just got to our first spot here and the water is a lot more clear than we would like normally we'd like water to be a little bit more dirtier when we're fishing just because we're trying to trick the fish into eating our bait but the anchors in the water now and we're gonna go ahead and catch some bait and then go fish for some big fish babe what's up it's windy <laughs> I'm gonna quit saying it's windy from now on just because it's always windy. <laughs> it's the standard. I like not doing the dirty this work. Or this one. No, that's one. Oh, I don't know. It's this one. That's one. I got, some, I got a couple small ones. That's a. Yeah, that's a serious. That's chunk. a. That's a serious box of chum right there. I have a big bag that's made for that. Dave, you should do a catch and cook chum video. I brought some lime. I'll just sprinkle it on there and eat it. Salt and pepper, some lime juice. But can you smell it? Like, guys, <laughs> I might not want to smell that if it's rough. So we got a big block of chum to chum up some bait fish. What we got over here? Some pilchards. Okay, so we have a bucket full of oats, sand, and chum, and you roll it up into a ball and drop it down. You put the sand in there so it sinks a lot faster and gets to the bottom and then it expands. And that will bring up a bunch of snapper, a bunch of bait fish. Dang, we already got dinner. Hell yeah, let's go home, mission accomplished. That ain't dinner for you. <laughs> Catching bait fish and I already got well, dinner. This is a whole nother video. Y'all tell it. Let's get it right out. 
So all these scattered just right here. And they're on the surface. And we have a tiny, tiny piece of bait to kind of look like the chum. And you leave it on the surface of the water. And then once they come up to it, you sink it down a little bit and they'll bite onto it. I've had three bite onto mine, but I just, I couldn't hook them. So Robert's gonna show me how it's done. There you, what the? <laughs> oh, I <he> got off. <laughs> all right, so we're uh, 0 and 5 right now for scad mackerel. They're all right here now. Awesome. Look at them all. I turn the camera off for two seconds and he catches one. Look at him spinning around in there. Zooming. That's why that's the best bait. Speedo! Speedo. Dun, dun. They are yes. smart. Sir. Let me see him. Perfect. Oh. That's the big boy. Swallowed it. That's the one. Oh, yeah. You gotta cut him off. That Speedo swallowed the bait. Hey. Look at that like honker! All the nice yellowtails we want to catch and eat. That's amazing. <laughs> Yummy. I got it, Ralph. Yellowtail snapper. You got him off. Delicioso. Yeah. I let him swim. He's yeah, I'm just having fun catching, catching small fish. I like this. <laughs> Why do we got to mess it up with something that bites? <laughs> right. All the stress of a big old black grouper. Oh. Exactly. Did you get the underwater footage you want? Yeah. Yeah. No. Ah! Dude, perfect. You don't even need me. <laughs> I do need you to bait my husband. Only speedos are always this evening. Just keep catching them, freeze them, bastards. Exactly. And it's a short leader. These are the scads that are in Jupiter, right? 100%. They're just Same massive. Thing. They're like king. They're king scad mackerel. Oh. Like a big sirloin. So check this out. We're gonna put this thing in low gear, and when it gets bit, when I tell you, you just whine. I just start reeling. Yeah, just reel. <clears throat> I can do that. Go ahead. Put it up to strike once it hits the bar. Alright. What do I do? Flip this up? Yeah, you see that? That's right there. Okay. Put it to right there. If for some reason you get one that starts taking that drag, we're going to push it even further. Okay. This is scary. <laughs> I'm ready. What is it? 50? Stop. Go to strike and then start winding slow. Alright, stop right there. Only Kelly, while I'm trying to catch a black, would be like, look at the birds! I say a nice black grouper's coming to the surface. Why do I feel like it should be fighting harder now? Babe, it's 40 pounds of drag on it. Yeah, that reel's a man sized reel. Look at him. <laughs> red grouper. Red! Woo! Oh, you're good. Wow. That's a stud. That's a beautiful red grouper. Oh my goodness. That didn't take very long. No, it didn't. I mean, we didn't even cut the clip. I like that jig head you got on there, too. Well, he put us on the wild boar and he put us on a grouper pretty quick. Oh, wait, hold on. Let, let me get this fish. You got it. All right, I got it. I got it. He ain't going nowhere now. Much better. <clears throat> All right, we had to do a little switch route for the lighting, but check out this big, beautiful red grouper. This is a big one. I saw a little baby one of these yesterday when we were snorkeling, probably about nine inches long. Jake missed a, a nice one of these too the other day, I heard, unfortunately, but I can't wait to show Jake this fish. Babe. Yeah. But look at the two birds. 
But look at the two birds. <laughs> Dibs. <laughs> Who's holding a rod like that with a huge live bait <laughs> and getting bit and says, but look, look at, at the, the birds. birds. They were just hovering right above your head. They were cute. All right, well, let's see if we can get a bigger one now. Yeah, we've been fishing for a solid one minute and 30 seconds. We already got a fish for the cooler. It's so hard to get you two in the frame at the same time because he's two foot taller than you. Yeah. I gotta like hold the camera like this. That's how it was when I was filming you and Raj. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll just tighten up a little bit. Alright, fish number two, let's go. Look at that right there. That's what that red just ate? Was that big of a mackerel? Yep. Dang. Holy mackerel. Opportunistic. Oh wait, what's going on? Double line. Oh, okay. That like sketched me out for a minute. I'm gonna stand right here this time. This will be better. Right. I can't believe that red ate that big old fish. You're ready to close it up. That fish is swimming hard with that jig. Yeah, it is. I'm like, dang. Should I cut it? Right there, yeah. like this bait did not do us any justice we're gonna put a fresh bait on because fresh bait is always good when you're fishing do you want me to like let this one go no, okay keep them all right but look how like look how thick these mackerel are can you see that why don't no. you tell them how good they taste they do taste pretty good blue gabe cooked one of these in one of his videos a little oily <laughs> hey babe big fish big clump of seaweed <laughs> important watching the rod tip right now it's moving but the, it's just the bait moving on the bottom but when you keep watching it it goes thump, thump. you gotta start reeling before that grouper gets you under a rock i feel like i have to officially try row now that we're down in the keys every fish of the past month that we've been catching has, has been full of row and i have yet to try it Everyone who eats row says it's amazing, like almost better than the actual fish itself. It makes sense because it's eggs. I mean, I eat eggs pretty much every single morning for breakfast, so what's the difference? Fish eggs and chicken eggs. different rocky area and go back some there is a bunch of bait fish under the boat right now insane amount okay so third bait down sat there waited waited fish got a little frisky a few times but then we hooked in the bottom so we had to break it re-reg we are we going to a new spot or are we ch yep. chilling here for a little bit all right so we're gonna go hit a new spot a little watermelon snack break I've never been a... Watermelon? I'll eat cantaloupe when I want to know. Is that what? It's Buy like one, cold, get one free like at Publix. It's a cold sponge. It is. It is like a cold sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
Woo! Okay. Nice one. All right, so we are at our second location. We went ahead and chummed up the bottom a little bit. We're gonna wait probably about five or 10 minutes to let the chum just really contaminate the bottom of the water. That way all the bait fish are coming up to it, which will spark groupers attention and have them come check it out. Then we'll send a bait down on the big boy rod. Yeah, this is like $8 a pound. Yeah, that's a $13 jig too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Out. What is this? You guys, you guys, look, this is like a fish that everybody dreams to catch and eat. And he's like, that's real good bait. <laughs> that's a solid honker. Oh my goodness. We should get that thing mounted. <laughs> Yellow tail flopping. 114 feet down. You know what lives in 114 feet of water? Big fish. But can you handle a monster fish? Got this. Right. Catch Luke a dinosaur fish. I do need. Luke is Blue Gabe, who's behind the camera, his now six year old son, and he is obsessed with dinosaurs. I probably heard the word dinosaur yesterday about 114 times. If you guys know me, you know I love my ceviche and I cannot wait to make some ceviche. Look at them yell tails. That's how you want to cut your own stuff, aren't we? Somebody got a camera? Got a gun. never know what you're going to catch down here. Where's that other one at? We're trying to catch a big black grouper for Kelly. She's caught a big red grouper, more big flag yellowtails than we can count. Now we got a nice bull dolphin on, probably 12 pounds. Oh, well, there's a second here, Kelly. Indeed. I'm going to flip him up front. So you don't bleed all over the boat. Actually, I got a little hook on it. You go, got that big gap? Take your time with him. You got a light, you got a light leader, so loosen your drag a little bit. Pull him.
<laughs> what are you laughing gotta, at, babe? You gotta take the line on that one. So, if you guys go over the top of this rock. Oh, yeah. oh there he is. He's already in the boat. Woo! Open that bail. Right in the box, y'all. I don't even know how to explain that, but y'all just saw what just happened. So Robert went ahead and threw another bait out just in case they were still hanging out. Sure enough, it ate just like this. He jumped twice, reeled him right to the boat, and Robert just slipped him in the ice box. So we got a dolphin, a big old red grouper, a bunch of yellowtail snapper, and who knows what else. What happened to my nice bull, though? The nice bull that you like get in the engine yeah. motor? Yeah. Well, I think you should tell that story. I lost him. <laughs> I don't want to touch it, I don't want to help okay. it. Oh god, that makes, such, that makes such a difference. I've always seen people pull the line down with their hand and I was always confused on what they were really doing. Just try to keep up with them, keep up with them. Okay. Come on, boy. That's definitely a big one. That's a black one. No. All right, you got them up off the bottom. Yeah, that's the most important part, is getting them off the bottom. I've had, oh, no, no, no. Come on. Oh, good job. I've had many black grouper just wreck me because I couldn't get them off the bottom. What is rod been though? Oh my goodness. Come on. How about my little scamp I just caught though? <laughs> you got a scamp? Yeah. I've never even seen a scamp. That's so cool. And you always say they're the best eating. I just fight a little too hard, so. Just help me out here, grouper. Swim to the surface. I'm telling you about my tricep right now. She's burning. All right. I'm going to need you now. Back. Get one back. His head was burned. Like a little there we go. No, 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 no. Yeah. Da -da -da. no, 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 no. Nice shark. Maybe I'll just cut the tail off. Is it a shark? Yeah, you have a shark on. I might not have started that way. Because all of a sudden we got pretty violent. Yeah. Keep going. Can we go show my scamp now? <laughs> Your scamp, you just snuck in the boat without anyone knowing? Where is it? Oh, I tossed it back. He was uh, having a tough time. Oh. He, went back. he was short. He was short? Ah, oh, he wasn't 16? They don't got, there's 20 here. Oh, Are it is? Are you a YouTuber? Yeah. There's 20 here. Did it see the camera at all? Uh, he was gonna die. That's all right. Well, I guess That's maybe. another one. There's a bunch of them down there. <laughs> Another one, I guarantee you'll get yeah, Feel the burn. Oh, it's burning. All right, I guess we're getting ready for round two. You're recording. Oh, I just got a whole lot of, come on, come on. What you want it to do. Oh, I just got, okay, come on. shark on his tail and the fact that every single fish that has been trying to people have been slack. trying to reel into this boat it's been getting sharked oh oh my gosh this joker sucked in two of our baits spit two of our baits oh my gosh he's gonna crush my hands no he's not why don't you, you grab some hand. gloves on put your hand try not to put it all the way in oh no, i see up, right yeah, there yeah, yeah, i got it as he flips overboard into the boat, <laughs> into the sunlight. If he falls, let him fall on the ground. Oh yeah, for sure. You guys, this is my first black grouper. 
This is a beautiful and a very nice size one too. Here in Key West. Thank you so much, Robert. Look at the polka dots. Damn polka dots. Now what is that, his air? That's air his blower? stomach turned inside out. Stomach? Sorry, big guy. You bit the wrong bait. All right, the official sacrifice of the red, or the red, <laughs> the big old black grouper going in the ice brine. Let's see if you can see head first. I'm not really good at this part. Yeah, look at that. Completely covered in ice. I'm happy. We came, we came out here and did exactly what we were supposed to do. And we got a bonus mahi. Gabe and the boys were catching some flag yelltail. What else we got in here? My, the red grouper and a couple mahi that got away, but hey, it's been a great day out here. Closing up the coffin. So the water is too inviting. Myself, Dibs, and Blue Gabe are about to jump in. Gabe is always first one in the water. Sure enough, he's coming up with a fish. There you go. Super fingers for everybody. Nice red. Oh my goodness. We're in 50 foot of water and I haven't free dove in a long time. It's all about taking your time though, relaxing and not getting all worked up. I couldn't film the shot, even though I think Dibs might have, because my GoPro doesn't have a underwater housing. That's too deep. Ooh, you see that about fell over backwards. Nice 20 pound fish, 22 probably. Beautiful. Look at this box, guys. Look at that, big black, two big reds, humongous yellow tails. That'll do it. All right, since we met, I've been hearing Kelly Young talk about black grouper. Look what we got. Not only one, but two. <laughs> we're gonna need a bigger cooler, which actually on Monday, we're gonna be getting our coolers drove down to Cujo Key by a friend and y'all will get to see our new gator coolers. But right now, I'm wrapping up this video. We hauled butt inside. There's an airplane up there being really noisy. All right, back to the video. Them triggers. Oh, y'all, y'all. I shot the two triggers though. <laughs> this fish took a long time. That took three shots. He put some work on that fish. <laughs> oh, look, another trigger. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were catching some monster yellowtail snapper, bonus dolphin, yellowtail. Dude, this is a beautiful cooler right now. Keep him coming. Okay, the world's biggest Sato mackerel. Like, look at this thing. Like, what even? By the way, really, really good sashimi, this one. Yellowtail, yellowtail, yellowtail. I think that sums up the species of fish that we got in this cooler. But, y'all, it is hot out here. There's also, like, some ginormous mangrove snapper at Robert's uh, dock right here. Check the- oh my gosh! Look how huge they are! I mean, you drain it this way, right? that one is massive! Oh. Dude, he's definitely been feeding these fish. But right now we're gonna get to cleaning all these fish. We're gonna go back to Kujo Key because right now we're in Key West. Shower. I might shoot down to Key West tonight. Hang out with some friends, meet up with some friends that live in Key West. But we got work to do before then. Huge shout out to Robert. Thank you so much. And Dibs. Dibs on bottom. He runs charters here in Key West as well and has a YouTube channel. So be sure to check it out. But right now this video is ending. Thanks for watching guys.
Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and we'll see y'all next time. Yeah! All right, so before we end this video, I know I told you guys we were ending the video, but we're out here flaying fish. It's getting dark. We're all exhausted. There's something in this big old red grouper's belly. Let's check it out. If you guys watch my videos, you know that I love looking in their bellies. It's actually kind of awkward when the fish is already filleted. Oh, there we go. What in the world? <gasps> Wait. What? Hold up. Alright. What the heck? Is that an organ? <laughs> I've never seen an organ like that. Okay. Hold on, this might get a little graphic. Look, what do you have over there? I have a net. I'm trying to get a lobster and he went under the boat. Oh, man. It's all because of boat's fault. What is this? Can somebody identify this right here? I've never seen that in a fish. Is that some type of gill? It looks like the gills and the crabs. Is that squid? You pick your nose just like Luke does when I'm pointing the camera. I'm peeling on my nose. This isn't in the stomach though. This is just his organs. But it, it looks like that. the gills that are in a crab. Mm -hmm. Interesting. There's the row. Fish eggs. Oh, I know it might be a liver. Oh, here we go. I don't know. Open up his body and see what what he ate. Hey, but I don't think there's anything in here. Maybe that's just his stomach. His stomach is just real thick. Hmm. Wait, Wait, this one's fat eye. Yeah. Huh. That's weird. His stomach was so like hard and bloated, but it looks like it's just whatever muscles are in his stomach to really right. digest the food is just super thick. But I really want to know in the comments below if you know what type of organ this is or what this does. Because, I mean, I've gutted many fish, and I do not remember seeing that in any other fish. No. No. Say that one more time. Say it in the comments, because I wasn't on it yet. Go ahead. In the comments below, let me know what type of organ this is or what it does. Because I've gutted many fish, and I don't even understand. I've never seen this before. When I first cut it open, I thought it was like a lionfish fin, and I was like, uh-oh. But no, it's, it's actually a part of the fish. Hmm. So I guess there was nothing in the stomach after all. However, this is actually my first official day here. Gabe and the boys have been here for two or three days already, but we're just getting started. So now is the official end of this video. Thanks for watching.